Well, I guess it's time for me to start my first upload on this channel. Um, I must say I'm really excited. I've been waiting for this package for quite some time now. As you can see, it's from Yamato Transportation. Um, it's a set of Game Boys that I got from a company called Sendico. And I just, I've, oh, I had real trouble with um, actually getting it here. The postcode that the website auto-corrected to was the wrong one, so I uh, had to get this thing delivered three times before I actually managed to pick it up. But I guess enough of prattle, time to get it open. However the hell I'm going to manage that with all this plastic and tape. But obviously I don't want to damage anything on the inside. Thankfully the DHL guy that delivered it for me was really nice, he actually gave me a phone call to let me know that the address was wrong and uh, drove down the road to meet me outside my house. Quite lucky really, since he kind of knew where my address was because the postcode that was wrong on this package was actually his postcode. So he knew that which road it was supposed to be on. He just didn't know whether it was the um, road number or the postcode that was wrong. Um, so this is going to be a real sketchy video, because I am using a toilet roll holder with a slit cut for my phone in order to hold the camera. Hopefully I'll have a slightly better setup eventually, but you know, for a first video on a channel for the first time ever, I didn't exactly want to ship out hundreds and hundreds on decent camera equipment. Um, my intention with this is to essentially have this as a channel where I uh, refurbish some old Game Boys and stuff, a la Retro Future and Esoteric Sean. Because it just seems like something that's going to be good fun to do whilst I'm at university, rather than just spending my life going to the library every damn day. Goodness me, they really did tape this thing up. Not that I'm really upset that they properly packaged my stuff, but you know, Jesus did not make it easy for me to get access to my stuff. Um, eventually, I'm thinking of doing some reviews of different Japanese proxies, but obviously no point me really reviewing Sendico until I've actually used other services because I don't have any barometer for what's good and what's not. But hopefully soon I'll be getting more stuff done and there'll be more things for me to talk about. But I mean, at the moment, the packaging looks pretty good. Good old giant bubble wrap. Oh, oh they've wrapped everything up in a big slab. So, it may have lied a bit, there's a bit more than just consoles in here. But we'll get to that in a sec once I've finished unwrapping the bubble wrap. Wow, they really have made sure that none of my stuff gets broken. I feel like I'm playing past the parcel with myself.
Okay, so, part one, we have a boxed copy of Pokemon Silver, which is in far better condition than I thought it was going to be, actually. Oh, damn. And then, oh, so this must be, oh yeah, this is the Game Boy Pocket. Um, I feel really bad about actually refurbishing this one, because it was, um, the listing said that it was their Game Boy they had since they were a child. And there's some really cute stuff on it that I, I kind of don't want to get rid of, but at the same time, if I'm going to resell these, I don't think the other people care as much about the sentimental stuff as me. But... I might keep it, I don't know, I've, I don't have a Game Boy Pocket. I have a busted up old DMG somewhere, but I don't have a single pocket. See, look, look at all these like cute little Pokemon stickers. Nice little Lugia, Fluffy, Quagsire, Alakazam, Kabutops, Spinarak, and Mew. With a couple heavy balls, I think that's a fast ball. And that must be a Leo ball. And then there's the classic Meowth over there. I mean, look, even like this, um, this little Hitman top sticker has been tapped on so much that it's completely gone and vanished. I mean, the screen's in pretty good nick, all things considered. Oh, there's even a Pichu on the back. I didn't get to see what the back looked like on the listing. Oh, Pocket Monster. That must be... Yeah, that's gold. No, this must be silver. Ah. Oh, a little Ampharos there. Ooh, bit of... Bit of guck there. But yeah, I'll be uploading a video at some point of me giving this a good old clean. Let's see, I assume I didn't get any batteries with this. No? The contacts look okay? Yeah, I mean, honestly, I, I thought this was going to be in much worse condition. I'm quite excited to give this a clean. I might keep these stickers somewhere, I might remove them and put them somewhere else. Right. And now for the remaining bit remaining remaining bits of the package. Which I'm especially excited for. So, part one is a standard clear Game Boy Color, which, yeah, that screen seems pretty good. Has the back plate, definitely needs a clean because it's got that lovely yellow tinge to it. So that would be, that would be good fun to do. Um, another copy of Pokemon Silver. This one's in slightly less good nick, so if I do keep one of these, I know which one I'm keeping. And then finally, there's a a nice sort of green Game Boy Color, which, once again, that's a pretty good screen. Oh wait! These are advertisers not having the back plates. But now they have the back... Ooh! Well, that saved me getting new back plates. And then also comes with a copy of Pokemon Crystal. Ooh, right, well, damn, I was expecting to have to do far more work than I am going to do, but I'm still going to give them a nice clean on the inside, go flush through all the contacts with some isopropyl alcohol, clean off these bloody little stickers, check that they will work properly, let's just have a quick peruse through the Pokemon Silver Box, shall we, see if there's anything of interest in there. Got to be careful not to break it any more than it is. Ooh. Didn't realise it actually still had the manual in it. They didn't show the manuals, so... Huh. Not bad at all. Uh, push. Oh, city man, doing this the wrong way. <laughs> yeah, nice copy of Pokemon Silver. I like that the um, the Japanese games, especially um, Gold and Silver, have different colour backs and different colour fronts. 
But um, gold has the opposite way around. So this has a purple back and a grey front, whereas gold has a purple front and a grey back. Huh? So good to see that everything is complete and tidy in there. Uh, honestly, I think I might just keep this one sealed because it looks quite nice. But anyways. Uh, oh wait, no, while I think about it, I'll grab some batteries to make sure all these things power on. Really, I should have had the batteries on hand, but you know, there's a reason why this is my first YouTube video. I don't even know if I've got much of this on frame, because I can't actually see through the... Oh, I did not know the pocket required triple A's. So I'll test if this works another time. Because I don't think I have any triple A's in the house. But there we go. Yeah, that works fine. Hey, hey. Just so you guys can see that it definitely does work, and I'm not lying to you for some reason. There's possibly been my favourite cutscene in the world. Love me some Gen 2. Ah, it doesn't have anyone save file. Not that I'm too surprised. I imagine the save battery's probably dead. Right, so that one works. Let's check the see-through one. Yeah, I promise in future videos, possibly even the next one, I'll have more exciting camera angles while I do these up and get them a nice clean. Might even invest in a little mini tripod thing for my phone. Ooh. Well, that's interesting. Oh, no, power's on now. Okay. Just didn't like it briefly, so I might need to flush out the contacts in this if it doesn't turn on consistently. Cool. Anyways, 